Hey everybody, wanted to shoot this video and hopefully help somebody out with setting the timing on your 6973 IDI diesel. Uh, I ordered this off Amazon. It is the Gunson Diesel Injector Pulse Pickup. Uh, comes with a clamp. And then I've got a digital timing light where you can adjust your timing advance. Uh, the way this works, I'll do, see if I can do do this best I can. Um, I made a sharpie mark down here. I'm going to reach down here. If you look down here on the balancer. If I can get it to there. We go. There is a tab on there with two round ports or holes or whatever. It's so the one you're going to want to shoot for with this setup is going to be the lower port or the one closest to the ground. There's actually a line with a zero on it in front of this port. Uh, I made a mark with a sharpie. And then on the balancer itself, if I can get in there and shine it on the top of the balancer, as you can see there's a really heavy embossment mark in the balancer. So when this is all set up, what you do is you shoot the timing light down here without getting it into the fan, and you can see that large mark line up with the purple line. So the idea is you take the clamp, number one injector line, clamp it on the line, this flips open here, clamp it on, and then you're going to hook this black ground directly to the line, and this to, this to the clamp, sorry for my crummy video skills, this to the clamp. So, and then you hook up your battery leads, and when that thing picks up the injector pulse, this light will sit there and flash. Then you clip the timing light uh, clamp to it, and it picks up the pulse, which in turn flashes and does the same thing as a spark plug wire would. And that's it. Other than that, you need a, a ground down wrench. I got a cheap 9 16 I ground down from Harbor Freight. Uh, I just finished setting mine. This is the first time I've ever dealt with it. As you can see, there's your two timing marks on the housing and on the pump itself. Mine were actually lined up, so I had to loosen mine and retard it about a dime's width. I went uh, retarding is going towards the driver's side and advancing is going towards the passenger side. So it's it's really that simple. You just have to have these these two items to do it. Uh, what I did learn while doing this though is when you hook this clamp up that line better be spotless. You better get all the paint off of it. It better be nice and clean because what was happening is I would get this really erratic flashing red light. It wouldn't be a constant pulse and as I would rotate this thing or work it a little bit uh, it would the light would you know crisp up and I'd have a nice good constant and before when I didn't have good contact the timing mark was just constantly floating around one way or the other and after I got everything good and clean good contact that timing mark would stay put in that one exact spot so mine was producing a little more black smoke than I like uh, when I adjusted my timing took it for a test run a lot of stuff cleared up it seems to be running just a tad bit smoother but like I said obviously you want to make sure your engine is warmed up you don't want to try doing this cold number one injector line the instructions say get it as close to the injector as possible don't put it in the elbow I put the clamp here and then the the ground contact at the elbow area and when you get the good pulse flash you know you're getting good contact and set my timing and that was it it's really that simple so hopefully this will help somebody else out and get their timing set on these